in just a few days, all eyes will turn to the sky for the solar eclipse. But experts have a warning before you look up. There are things you need to do to protect your eyes. Action News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us live outside Willis Eye Hospital in Center City with what you need to know. Hey, Caroline. Good morning. Hey, Eliana and Nydia, this really is such important advice for people at home who want to look up and watch the solar eclipse on Monday afternoon. I just spoke with Dr. Joel Schumann. He's an ophthalmologist here at Will's Eye Hospital, and he tells me that the reason that the solar eclipse and protection for your eyes during it is so important is because we can't usually look up and stare at the sun when we do have it. Unfortunately, we do not have it today, but during the solar eclipse, people can look up and they can stare at the sun as the moon passes it, but if you do so without the proper protection that can cause permanent eye damage. If you look directly at the sun, uh, you can burn the retina, especially in the most sensitive part of vision where you have the sharpest vision. Let me show you on here. Um, so this part here is this clear part is the cornea and then this is the natural lens of the eye and then this is the retina and you would burn the part of the retina that has the most sensitive, sharpest vision because you're looking directly at the sun and you wouldn't know it. Now, Dr. Schumann tells me the sun's rays that will burn the retina are invisible to us, but they will melt the retina tissue, causing permanent damage and a condition called solar retinopathy. The way to protect yourself is to wear an approved pair of solar eclipse glasses. Dr. Schumann says they have lenses that block out the harmful rays of the sun, but you need to make sure they are approved glasses. They will be approved by the U.S. International Standards Organization, and the way to tell is to look at the glasses and see if they have a mark that says ISO on them. And he also tells us it's not only your eyes that need to be protected during the solar eclipse, it's also your telescope and your camera, like our Action News cameras, they need to have a special filter on them if we want to capture the eclipse. And he said if you're thinking about using your cell phone to capture a picture of a vi or a video on Monday afternoon, think again. He said that using your cell phone without the proper protection to take a picture of the eclipse, that can cause permanent damage to one of the sensors on your phone. That's the latest live outside of Will's Eye Hospital in Center City. I'm Caroline Goggin, Channel 6 Action News. Caroline, it's good that we're talking about this now. We've got five days to prepare to have the right glasses and yep. the right lens and everything to capture <laughs> this solar eclipse. Thank you so much.